What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about fixing door panels and the power window controls for this truck. So in my other videos, we have talked a little bit about these issues right here with this thing. So today we're gonna go ahead and get this fixed. Um, this is a really com common problem on these trucks. Um, the one over there has been fixed. I didn't do video, so I decided we're gonna do video on this to how to repair these door panels correctly. So um, you make these trucks nice again, you know? So um, there's a little bit about it. I'm gonna go get some tools. Be back to you soon. All right, got my tools out, we're back. All right, so for this fix, you can see that, you know, basically the plastic is broken, sorry, right up in here. This is where this screw hole would go down and hook into it. So what I did was had this little bucket and it seemed like I, what I did was I just cut a little piece out with uh, my rotary Dremel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I did some trimming on it already. You can see I cut this out into to fit basically right in here. Now, if you can see that it is cracked right there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna epoxy this in here um, once I get it to fit a little more correctly. Um, that way it'll also hold the panel together right there. Um, so let me go ahead and do a little more fine trimming on this, get the epoxy and I'm gonna glue this in. It's hard to do it holding the camera, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to do the best video I can, man. All right got this piece final trimmed um what i did right here is you know i roughed it up with some sandpaper because that's going to be where my um, edge is going to stick underneath here so it would be something like that a little closer to that um i have a c-clamp ready to go that will go on about where my thumb and finger is over here so it'll hold all this tight uh, i'm just using standard um clear weld two-part epoxy um so let me go ahead and glue this in here and I'll show you what the result's gonna be. All right, we got it all glued in there. That's basically what it's gonna look like. We're gonna let this stuff dry and uh, we'll go to the next process. All right, our epoxy has set and there's our final product. And the reason why I put it underneath is because when it pulls, it's gonna sandwich it from the bottom. So we're done with this one. Simple as that. And when I did cut my piece, I cut it so it cleared. You might have to trim a little bit here if you make this too long because of this guy right here that holds it to the mount. So we're gonna get this in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down so I can screw this in. There is the finished product. It's all nice and tight. Everything works correctly. 